Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I just want to come up here and do a quick makeup look. Um, I have some stuff to do today, so I figured I'd just record it because I don't know, I just feel like good today. I felt like I should record something. Um, they have like a food truck rodeo type thing today at my complex. And um, so we're gonna go be part of that. I have company coming and just a whole bunch of stuff going on. So I am just happy. My little studio makeup room is coming together nicely. So yeah, good stuff. I'm recording a couple videos, a couple videos today. So be ready for that. And without further ado, we're gonna get right to the video. Okay, so first we're gonna go in with the Verse Skin Soak um, Moisture Cream. And that's just what I'm using to moisturize my face today. And then I'm just gonna go in with the Fenty Primer and the NYX Away We Glow as I normally do. Um, I just like the way that it gives the little shine that it gives to my skin when I use that. And I did my brows off camera to save time, so that's actually what I do right after I blend all of that out. So that's actually what comes immediately after. Next, I'm gonna go on with the airspun powder, and this time I'm gonna put it on my nose and on my lids because it's actually 91 degrees this day, and I just wanna make sure that whatever I do on my eyelid stays on my eyelid and does not move because it is actually really hot. So I'm just gonna put that on there and I'm gonna press that into my skin with this, I think this is the e.l.f. brush. It is e.l.f. brush with this e.l.f. brush. I'm just gonna press that into my skin and a little bit on my forehead just to give it a good coverage on there. I'm using the Fenty uh, foundation in the shade 430. That's actually 430 and 440, but I only used 430 because it just, I didn't need both today. So I actually apply this in a thin layer first. I like to make sure that I um, am only doing this thin, so I do a little and then I add whatever I need to add because it's warm outside. This is a really matte foundation, so I wanna make sure that I'm keeping it as thin as possible to minimize how um, hot I actually am throughout the day. So here I'm just going in and adding just a little more in the spots that I wanted to get more covered on just to make sure that everything is blended out nicely and to make sure that I'm covering all the spots that I missed the first go around. And this foundation on my skin, I don't know if it does on everybody, but it does oxidize. So to me, it was it, it comes out a little lighter and then as it dries down, it gets it turns more closer to my shade. And I'm just using my Sonia Kashuk um, Beauty Blender. It's already been damp just to blend that in a little more because I want to make sure that I'm matte throughout the day. Next, I'm going in with the Fenty Concealer in 420 and I'm just going to conceal under my eyes, bridge my nose, forehead, lip, chin, all those areas that the light hits it. Next, I'm gonna use my Morphe Eyelid Primer and just prime my lids before I move on to my favorite part, which is the eyeshadow. And I'm gonna use the Morphe palette, the 3502 palette, and I'm gonna use that to do my eyeshadow. So the first shade I'm gonna go in with this palette is Fawn, and I'm mainly using that on my crease area. And I'm just gonna blend it into my crease and then above that, just from the outer corner of my eyelid to the inner corner. The next shade I'm gonna use is So Warm and I'm just gonna use that to deepen my crease just so that it gets a little bit darker. And then I'm gonna go in with Brunette on the outer crease 
and that's just because I wanted the color to be a little deeper just to give some depth to my eyelid and then I'm going to add more of the Morphe primer on my lid. So last minute I changed my mind and added sauce to my eyelid just to get more of a pop of color on my lid and then I go in with heat to blend that into those darker shades because I had intended on doing a darker look but then I saw that orange color and decided to go with that so I used heat to make that orange blend in with that all those brown shades that I used. Next, I'm going to use my Sonia Kashuk Beauty Blender to blend out the concealer because I'm done with my eyelids for now until the end when I go ahead and finish everything out, but I'm just going to blend that out. Next, I'm going to do my Bobbi Brown Cool Espresso Foundation Stick to contour, and I'm just going to put that on my cheekbone area, sides of the bridge of my nose, and my forehead. So I'm just blending that out the same Sonia Kashuk Beauty Blender and then I am going to just clean up that area on my eyelid with that I wiped off with the concealer. Next I'm using the Fenty Powder and Hazelnut to set the concealer and this is actually a Real Techniques powder sponge that's actually been dampened just like I did the last one and I'm just using that to press the powder into my skin. And then I'm going to use the Morphe Bronto palette to set the contour. I'm using the Fit Me Powder in 40 Dark to set under my cheekbones. I just like the way that looks. It just gives my face like some sort of dimension and it just looks really pretty when it's all blended out. As you know, I'm not big on lashes, so I do those off camera 
and I did leave a link to All Day Sass's page to show how I applied that. I did it the same way that she does it in her video, so that link will be in the description box below. I'm going in with Muddy on the outer corner of my eyes to darken the corners out before I add the Fenty Flower Liner um, just to give it a little wing. I also added the Laura Mercier Glow Powder off camera when I did my lashes because I forgot to do that when I uh, put every all the rest of the powders up there. So I just went ahead and added that as well. And then I used my mineral powder that I got from the beauty supply store to dust everything off. This was also another last minute decision because I wasn't even going to put anything on my bottom lash line because I just sometimes I don't. But I added heat to the lower lash line and then the Kush mascara to the bottom lashes as well as the Marc Jacob eyeliner to my waterline. Next, I'm going to set my face for the first time <laughs> with my Morphe setting spray. And then I'm going to go in with the Black Radiance Blush and Toasted Almond. I do that after because it just helps it stick a little bit better when my face has been moistened. So I'm just using that first. And then I put it on the middle of the brush and then I let it go so that it'll blend out nicely. And then I'm going to go back in with the bronzer palette and that's in the color showmance i'm just using the highlighter side before i use the uh contour side to do to set my contour but i'm going to use the highlighter side because i just wanted a light highlight just a very minimal one because that laura mercier powder that stuff really works it makes it look like you have highlighter on before you even set it and with my eyes being so bright i just wanted a toned down look and this is after I applied that powder and that setting spray and everything else. So I'm just going to go ahead and wrap that braid around because they were long and they were hanging down. So I just wrapped it around to make it a little even. This is my normal Wet n Wild brown pencil. And then I'm going to use the NYX Liquid Suede Brooklyn Thorn. And I'm going to put that on my lips. And then in the center... I ended up going in with the lingerie push-up in lace detail. I did decide to go in and set my face for the second time after I applied everything with the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray.
another last minute decision was to go in with the master chrome and molten topaz and put that on the inner corner of my eyes in the tear duct. Okay guys, so this is the finished look. Um, don't ask me where it came from because I don't have any clue. <laughs> I was um, in the middle of doing like a my usual like brown kind of look and this orange color just stood out to me. It's just so pretty and the shimmery stuff in it. I don't know, it's just real nice. Like I said, my mood today is just real bright. So that's probably why it stood out to me, but um, I love it. I'm glad I used it. Um, I just went with like a muted purple look, uh, no particular reason, just felt like doing some color. So I wanted to, I'm doing color on my eyes, might as well just a little something on my lips, just put on my arm candy as usual. This is always gonna be here, but um, yeah, do my hair in a ponytail, pull those two long braids around so that it would just not be hanging down at like a weird length. So yeah, that's pretty much it. If you guys like this look, make sure you give the video a thumbs up and don't forget to like and comment if you haven't already subscribed. But um, thank you guys for joining me. I look forward to seeing you guys on my next one. Thank you so much for all the love you guys have been showing me on all the social media outlets. I appreciate all the messages, the DMs, everything. Just everything thank you guys so much and i'll catch you on my next one bye <music>